Hey, what's up guys, it's Inu here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how do I make my YouTube videos because a lot of you guys in the comments, you ask me about how do I edit my videos, how do I make my thumbnails, how do I do the voiceovers, how do I record, which software do I use to record. So today I'm going to give you guys literally everything that I use to make my YouTube videos. So if any of you guys have any questions, I'm probably going to answer it on this video so without being sad let's get started so as you can see right over here this is my phone's home screen and a lot of you guys ask me how do i make my youtube videos is it using pc or android i actually made every single video on this channel almost every single video on this channel using my android device and these are the apps that i use in order to make these videos i have kai master the video editor I have right here screen recorder by NNL. It's the screen recorder that I've been using since I started YouTube and it's been working just flawlessly. So I really do recommend it. It doesn't work for every single device, but when it works, it works very well. And this right here is Kai Master. This is the video editor that I've also been using since I started doing YouTube. It's got better with the updates and it's actually really cool right now. And I think it's the number one most used video editor on android it's pretty cool it's pretty dope you know i'm not going to go over how do i edit my videos on this video i already made a video on how to edit videos on kai master i will link that down below pretty easy stuff i just cut the beginning and the end of a video and i just do the voiceover as you can see right over here i add a little bit of layers a little bit of things here and there and yeah this is how do i edit my videos it's pretty simple again i will leave a tutorial on how to edit videos on android in the description down below so be sure to go ahead and check that out if you are interested or if you are willing to um maybe make your editing better so yeah everything is going to be down in description below and after i edit my videos all what i have to do is to go ahead and just save it so i always save it at 1080p 30 fps and the bit rate is about like five megabytes which is all right i hit export and it's fairly fast and once it's finished i can also go ahead and give it a look before i upload it right over here and this is how do i edit my videos so after i finish editing the video i make the thumbnails using photoshop touch a lot of you guys ask me how do i make my thumbnails i've been using photoshop touch to make my thumbnails since i started youtube so photoshop is actually probably the best app right now if you want to make thumbnails on your android device and um as you can see right over here i just stuck up a bunch of layers above each other making a really cool interesting and colorful thumbnail that is um attractive to the viewers so when someone is scrolling down the home screen they will see the most interesting thumbnails and the most colorful ones so i highly recommend you to go ahead and take care of your thumbnails take forever if it takes you to make a good thumbnail because thumbnails are the most important thing to drive the viewers towards your video and if you guys are wondering how did i learn photoshop i actually learned it from skillshare skillshare is an online educational platform that contains over 25,000 classes yes that's right over 25,000 classes which means there's definitely something for everybody if you are looking to learn how to do photoshop or how to do drawing how to play basketball how to do literally anything that is skill related you will find this right here on skillshare so i learned photoshop from skillshare if you just um, type in photoshop you will see a tons of classes right here that teaches you how to do photoshop and you know you are getting the best classes right here on skillshare because the classes right here are made by online artists and influencers that has a lot of experience so you know you are getting the best classes from the best people at this scale and skillshare actually helped me a lot doing youtube because when i started i didn't find any good tips or tricks on how to do video editing or thumbnails or literally anything so i just ended up going right here on skillshare 
And I'm actually still using Skillshare today because recently I was looking on how to do some stop motion on After Effects and surprise, surprise, I actually have it right over here on Skillshare. And I ended up looking through these classes and I learned a ton of things that I didn't know about. So if you guys are looking to learn brand new skills, whether it is Photoshop or literally any other skill, be sure to go ahead to the description below and go to Skillshare and Skillshare is hooking you guys up with two months of a free usage of this website. So yeah, be sure to go ahead to the description down below and go to the link and you will have three months on this website. So once I finish editing and making the thumbnail of the video, I upload it to YouTube, then I go to YouTube Studio, which is very useful. I highly recommend you guys to go ahead and download it. It's actually a big time saver. As you can see, it gives you a lot of information about your videos, the likes, comments, dislikes, whatever. And also you can go ahead and edit it. And as you can see right over here, we can edit the title, the description, and you can add it into whatever playlist you want. Also, you can change the tags and you can go to the monetizations right over here, the advanced settings. You can literally change anything about your videos. And this is the app that I actually use to change the thumbnail of my videos. As you can see, it's as easy as pressing on this change button. You choose it, you choose it from the gallery and that's it. You actually change the video thumbnail. So yeah guys, this is the journey that I go through every single time that I wanna create a brand new video. These are all the apps that I use and I'm going to link every single app right over here down in the description below of this video. So if you guys wanna use the same setup that I use to make videos, you can go ahead and do so, which goes to show that you really don't need a computer or any of that tech to make YouTube videos. You can go ahead and make YouTube videos right now using your Android device. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it if you guys go ahead and like this video. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you did not join me yet. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.